Hey you guys, it's your girl me, Viva, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to be breaking down the trailer a little bit while also giving my thoughts and opinion on the trailer for the new expansion pack that's been announced for The Sims 4 called Get Together that should be coming out in November, I think like early November. And it was just announced today at Gamescom 2015. I had to watch this trailer at like around 4 o'clock in the morning while I was at work. In case you didn't know, I work at 4 o'clock in the morning. But I watched it, so... We're going to go ahead and look at the trailer together and I hope you guys enjoy it and also like this video up like right now and let me know your thoughts about this whole get together expansion pack by the end of the video in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, here we go on the official The Sims YouTube channel, and we're about to look at this trailer. I'm going to be stopping and pausing and showcasing you guys what i seen in the trailer that I was excited about. And I'm going to kind of go over my thoughts and opinions about this expansion pack as well as going through the trailer. But at the end of me going through this trailer, I'm still going to give my thoughts just to give you a recap so you know what i'm thinking about when i saw this expansion pack so before we even get started when i first saw this trailer at four o'clock in the morning well it was like almost 4 30 it's close to 4 30 and when they started to play this trailer i was very confused and i had no idea what i was looking at it was so much going on at one time but there were moments where I was watching this trailer that I had like excitement for certain things. I had that moment like, oh my God, they brought this back. I generally had a few of those moments. So let's go ahead, go through the trailer. I'm going to talk a little bit as we go. So expect a lot of stopping and pausing. If you want to see the trailer, then you have to go to the Sims YouTube page to watch it um, the way you want to see it. Like just playing without me stopping and pausing. So with this expansion pack get together we're going to be getting a new world new town new place to live you can live in this town and it's called windenburg and it's kind of like a european inspired type of town and i think it kind of looked like one of those towns from the sims 2 in case you don't follow my sims 2 lp i'm new to the sims 2 but uh, i think it looked like one of those towns i think it's called like veronaville or something like that and then also this town seems to be the town that they were showing when they were showing like very early screenshots of the sims 4 but before it like even came out when it was still in development and it looked like it was this town but it didn't come out when the sims 4 came out and i think they finally put it back into the game with this expansion pack of get together so what i see right here i see there's a guy playing the violin outside i don't know if there's going to be like street performers or something like that but yeah I, I i noticed that i think that's pretty cool so let's keep on going so here this is what caught my eye we are in a functioning cafe as you can see there is a barista back here this is a big old espresso machine and we're going to be able to get some coffees at a cough i said a at a coffee what coffees at a coffee that make total sense we're gonna be able to get some coffee and stuff at a cafe so that's what's going to be adding to the expansion pack it's cafes so let's keep on going and right here this has shocked me too let's keep going a little bit more it's they brought back the foosball table which i am very excited about that give your sims something to play something to do together that's why i, I guess they call this get together because i think the overall point of this expansion pack is being able to do things together which i'm going to talk about more when i get to my thoughts at the end of the video so right here as you can see it seems like we got some i say that it's beer but it could be whatever but it seems like get a new drink to drink and uh here we go outside i seen um a lot of new hairs. I don't think that's new, but this might be new. This is new. Definitely this braid hairstyle, that's new. And it got some new clothes. I love this purple top right here. I think that is really cute. And this is what shocked me too. As you can see, the Sims are swimming. But not only are they just swimming, they are not in a swimming pool. Like with the chlorine, the clear water. This is a different body of water that the Sims are swimming in. I was like, oh my god, what? is that it seems like they're like swimming in a pond in a lake 
or a river or something of that sort and it's very green it seemed like to be algae and there's like lily pads and like steam coming out of it. i don't know exactly what it is i don't know if we'd be able to build those or that's just within this new world i have no idea but i was really really excited about that <laughs> As you can see, I like it. And then here, I think that's like their ancient ruins. And it's basically like where you could party. And they brought back the DJ booth, which I'm very excited about. And I think that's a new skill. You could get a DJing skill. And also, there is a new dancing skill. As you will see that the Sims have more dance moves. Let me go back. Oh, I skipped something. And here, if we could go back here, there is fire dancing and bonfires and where they are right now is on a beach. So we're getting beaches back. I don't know if we could swim in the water at the beach. I don't, I don't know about that. But as you can see, the Sims got new dance moves. I'm excited about that. And we see that lake a little bit more. And this is a better view of the beach and whatever they're drinking. I don't know, but um. I'm excited. I I really am excited. I love it. You see those dance moves and this guy break his neck, poor thing. <laughs> but it's like, it's a really good party scene that's going on here that I never would have imagined. It got a little love scene here. Now what's coming up is going to be one of my favorite parts is this. As you can see, they basically brought back a built-in closet slash walk-in closet. And it appears that... With this expansion pack, you'll be able to join different clubs or make your own club. And when I say club, I mean like a clique, like a clique of people that's going to be going places together to have fun and do activities together. And one of these activities with this clause is that you'll be able to dress together, which is very interesting. So I can't wait for, um, like some mean girl action going on or to create the vortex club from like life is strange and just make your own click and just rule the world so this is one of my favorite things if you guys don't know i'm all about that woohoo life and we have a new woohoo location which is that walk-in closet you know i'm gonna be testing that out but i think there's also another location i think from i was reading yeah, right here it says party anywhere, throw parties anytime, anywhere. Head out to the ruins or a local hotspot and set up the DJ booth to get the party started. Build a bonfire to heat things up or dare other sims to get into some hilarious situations. And then at the end of the statement, it says sneak away for a quick romp in the bushes with that special sim. So I think you may could also woohoo in some bushes, which is interesting. And also... I think we have like a new group dance or synchronized dancing so you and your clique could just like turn up the clubs now as you can see I thought that that was the best part of the trailer right there for me it really was so that's just about it for the trailer so I'm gonna get into my thoughts about the trailer a little bit more and uh, yeah we're gonna talk about this a little bit more before I end this video Okay, so it's that part of the video I done went through the trailer, but now it's time for me to give my honest thoughts and opinions on this expansion pack called Get Together. So before we get started, the cost of Get Together is going to be the same as Get to Work. It's going to be $39.99 US dollars. And you probably want to know, am I going to get it? Of course, I'm going to get the expansion pack and most likely I'm going to be pre-ordering it right after I'm done with this video because you can pre-order it now right off of Origin. And I'm getting it because it's something new to add to the game. I'm excited for it. And I love The Sims. And I love everything and everything about The Sims franchise. So if you guys don't know, I do now have The Sims 2. I don't have every single thing for it, but I got majority of it. For The Sims 3, I have all the expansion packs, but I don't have like all the store content, all the stuff packs and all that stuff. So for The Sims 4, I don't want to miss out on anything. I don't want my game to lack anything that EA releases for the game. So I will be getting every single content that comes out for The Sims 4 in case you wanted to know. So now it's time for my thoughts and opinions about this get together expansion pack so 
yes, I'm excited for it. I really am. But when I watched the trailer for Gamescom, when I was at work at like 4.30 in the morning, that's why I was watching it at work. Like I said before, I was very confused when it started playing. And I think a lot of people can agree and they probably felt the same way because I didn't, I don't understand like exactly what it is. Like I did not know what it was, like the exact point of like, what what am I looking at? Like, what is this? You know, it was kind of confusing. But as I was watching the trailer, like I said, I was excited for certain things that you saw in the trailer. Like, I'm excited for the cafe and for the foosball table to come back and the DJ booth and swimming in that Lake River Pond <laughs> where everything it is. And um, the two possible new woohoo locations where I know why I'm not really sure about the bush thing and be able to make your own click or to join clicks or clubs they're calling it clubs or whatever but um and the whole dancing like the new dancing skill and the dj skill and it seems cool but i'm like a lot of people probably felt this way and i still kind of feel this way even though i'm excited about it people don't feel like it's an expansion pack and i don't feel like it's an expansion pack either i feel like it's more of a game pack because i feel like when you look at it, it's like, what am I trying to do here? Like, what is the overall theme? Like, I feel like there's no progressions. There's, like, nothing you're striving to gain or progress through. I think it's just adding extra gameplay for things that you could do, which is I thought was the idea behind Game Pass. Because I feel like, I feel like, I don't know personally, but I don't know. I'm gonna say, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to say is that. For me, I'm not sure at this point of time of what they've shown so far in the trailer if I'm going to do a full out let's play on this expansion pack because I feel that it's not an expansion pack. I feel Like I said, I feel like it's a game pack. If I do do an LP on it, it'll probably most likely be a mini series because I can't see there's anything that you're trying to accomplish that's why I feel like it's not an expansion pack more like a game pack like I feel like this would be better to add on to my current LP with me and my family and Chris and it'll be good for season two whenever I start that to add on for whoever I'm gonna play with like say if I'm gonna play with Ayana in season two it'll be good to add this into her like she's gonna go live out in this town for a few days and she trying to join this like popular clique of girls and she go and party and dancing and drinking that's how I feel like it is that's why I feel like it's a game pack and no like not a full-on expansion pack I don't know I can't explain it maybe you guys try to maybe you guys do understand what I'm trying to say or you might feel the same way I do but I am excited for it I just feel like it's not a straight on expansion pack but then I'm not complaining because I want it really bad but this is just why I'm going on for what I've seen in the trailer of course they didn't show us everything so I can't count it out and say is that an expansion pack so hopefully um I think they're gonna be doing something on Friday so hopefully they do a little gameplay or a little bit more explaining behind it but the overall point of it now that I watched the trailer like 20 30 times because I had to watch that many times to like see things in it and try to get a grasp of what it is but it's basically just doing more things together now in the sim so basically you know when like now in a game where you invite sims out to go somewhere they kind of just like wander off and do their own thing and now like I guess with this club thing or this together thing you will stay like in a group and actually do things together. I think that's the overall point of it. So I don't know. I'm not complaining. A lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't toddlers or pets. I wasn't disappointed because I already knew that's not what it was going to be. But um, toddlers and pets, they're going to come when the time is right. So I'm hoping that the next expansion pack the third one would be something more family oriented that's what i think it's going to be that's my speculation and my speculation for this expansion pack was kind of sort of right what i was speculating was for a night life or late night type expansion pack and it's kind of like this but it's like it's no downtown it's no city it's like a european type of place and you know how get to work it's like basically a mix between 
The Sims 2 open for business and the sims 3 ambitious together with this one i i don't even know exactly what expansion packs is together it's kind of like its own thing and people gotta kind of get used to that and stop trying to compare it to a complete game of the sims 3 to the sims 4 because that doesn't make sense so to me i'm thinking it's like a little bit of late night a little bit of boing voyage and a little bit of university together because it's kind of like half of late night or nightlife in half a university because it kind of gave me that university feel and it kind of gave me like that whole party and clubbing scene of late night but it's kind of like young adults or what teens would do to like party and stuff but there's no it's a university aspect but it's like a party and joining clubs and getting to know people and finding new people and stuff like that but it's no university like it's no going to class and all that stuff. It's just weird. I don't know. But anyways, I think I'm going to end my thoughts here. Like I said, I'm excited for it. Um, I wish it was something else. But I'm going to take whatever EA give us and I'm going to get it. I'm excited for it. I'm going to be playing it. I don't care. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Get Together Expansion Pack. I know I was all over the place. I couldn't really try to put into words what I was trying to get at <laughs> because it's kind of hard to explain my thought process of exactly what this is but let me know what you guys think about get together and I don't know if they're even going to keep this get thing with the titles I don't know I don't like it I think it should have been named something else but um yeah let me know what you guys think about the expansion pack let me know if you're going to get it and if you're not going to get it and why so like this video up and subscribe to my channel if you're new follow all my links down below my sims 4 lp will be coming out tomorrow because i wanted to do this video today so don't worry and don't fret i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye